Good morning. Good morning, my Facebook friends. I hope and trust you all are doing well. I'm about to share some important things with you. And my reason for sharing is for everyone to understand that we are in a great controversy. We are in a great battle, a battle between Christ and the devil. And none of us are spectators. I want you to understand that Jesus cast his vote for you. The devil cast his vote against you and you and I have the tiebreaker. I'm, go I'm going to pray and then I will share. Eternal Almighty Father, I come to you this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, I ask thee to take charge, lead, guide, and direct. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Okay, so on October 1, approximately three weeks ago, <clears throat> sorry, I shared an experience with you of my second encounter with demons. Now, the same young man I told you about, my little cousin, he was actually repossessed. And I want you to understand that what I'm saying can be found in the Word of God. If you were to turn your Bible to St. Matthew 12, verses 43 to 45, you will understand that the Bible says, when an unclean spirit is gone out of a man or a person, they go in search. They are searching and they're searching for someone else. They're searching for a body, a house to lodge. And if they cannot find no one, they will come back to the person whom they were lodged in. But before they return, the Bible says that they will go for seven other stronger demons. And the last state of that man is worse than the first. So I was called back by my family members that I should come back to pray because the young man who was delivered, he is behaving strange. And so I stopped somewhere. I prayed. I covered myself with prayer because I am a human being. I am no match for the devil. But I know that when a man or a woman is wrapped up tied up and tangled up in Jesus, the devil and his hunterage can be defeated. And perhaps this is unprecedented because you may not hear what I am saying coming from the average Seventh-day Adventist pastor. So it, it might be unprecedented. And the reason why I have to speak is because, as it were, it's like Jesus has given me a front row it's like Jesus has removed the curtain. And he, it's like he's saying to me, Melvin, you have chosen to be a minister of the gospel. I want you to see what is happening. See how the great controversy is unfolding. Anyways, I went down there and I prepared the young man. I told him to confess his sins. And the demons were not manifesting. You know? And as soon as I said, okay, and I prayed and I confessed all my sins. And I said, the time has come. And I placed my right hand on his head. And by the time I should say, demons, if you are there, I command in the mighty name of Jesus, I decree and declare that you come out. And the same three demons that were in him started to speak. The same one from China. And the young man will continue to speak in, in Chinese language. And so, while he was speaking in Chinese language, then another one, James, that one came back. 
You can read about it in, 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 in Matthew 12, verses 43 to 45. It is clear. And so, when they started to make noise, I, I was not watching them. So I, I commanded them, because I know I have authority in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Because uh, Philippians says, At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, and every tongue shall confess that Jesus is God. Jesus is Lord. So I was not being distracted. And so I said, In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, come out. Why have you returned? And then I asked, How many of you are there? And they said, Three of us. And then I asked, what is your assignment? And they said, we are here to destroy this young man. And to my amazement, while I was there, I commanded the unclean spirits in the mighty name of Jesus. I said to them, who sent you here? Who sent you here? And they started to speak. They called the name of the person, but I cannot call the name of the person here. But the unclean spirits they call the alias name of the person and then they call the person's name clearly as if i was looking on the person's date of birth or birth certificate so to speak and so i continued my mission and i said in the name of jesus demons come out and they were saying pastor parker leave us alone leave us alone it's the same thing brethren read about it in mark if you read mark chapter 5 you will see it clearly when jesus went on the and the country of the gatherings and the man that was in the tomb when jesus said what is your name then they said we are legions for we are many i want you to understand that these demons are intelligent because they were in heaven and they were cast out of heaven they were cast out of heaven, so they still possess intelligence. So when I ask, who sent you? I command you in the name of Jesus. Once a person uses the name of Jesus, the demonic spirits are compelled to speak because there is power in the name of Jesus and they call the name of the person who sent them in the young man. And then I commanded them to leave in the mighty name of Jesus. It happened uh, Friday Friday, I was, I was so tired because most of you would know for Seventh-day Adventists, Friday is the preparation day. We prepare for the Sabbath because we believe in God's holy Sabbath. And so I was busy preparing. And when it reaches down in the evening, I got a call and I had to go at about 8.30 in the night. Friday night, I was there praying for the young man. And let me tell you what happened. While I was praying for the young man, my family members, some of them came close because they saw what was unfolding and they thought it was a game. So I said to them, listen, anybody who is not a Christian, do not come close. Don't come close. If you are not a Christian, if you are not living right, don't come close. And you can read about it. Read Acts chapter 19 from verse 10 to about 16. There were the sons of Sceva. When they saw... Paul, they saw Paul casting out demons and they went over the sons of Sceva and they said in the name of the God of Paul, demons come out and they were not living clean and the demon said, Jesus I know and Paul I know but who are you? And you know what happened? The demons stripped off their clothes, cut up their skin and they ran out of the house naked. So while I was there, a lot of persons came down. It was in a lane, the same lane that I grew up from I was a little boy running up and down without shirts our shirt and so i said to my family member if you're not a christian leave go far but there was a specific family member of mine he did not take it serious and uh, as i said when i was praying for the young man <clears throat> and the demon said one is from china one is james and one is yannick and when the young man was vomiting vomiting and i said to him are you okay? Are you back? Because that's, how, that's what I use. The Holy Spirit showed me what to do. So in order for me to find out if the person is fully restored, I would say, what is your name? And if the person said, state their full name or their correct name, it's a sign that the demons um, would have left. And so I said to the person, after he would have vomited, I said, what is your name? And the person told me his correct name. 
And then I said, repeat this. I said, say, Jesus, I love you three times. And the person said, Jesus, I love you. Jesus, I love you. Jesus, I love you. And I said, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. But let me tell you what happened. One of my family members, when he heard the demons calling the name of the person who sent them in my little cousin, he got upset. And my family member was cursing a lot of expletives and saying, what a wicked person, what a wicked person. And my friends, you know what happened? When my cousin was being restored and he was coming back to himself, my family member who was cursing, he came close and one of the demons left my cousin and went into that family member. And the family member, I, I looked and I heard him saying, I just saw him started to cough. <coughs> and I said, what's wrong? And then I heard, I am James, I am James. And then I had to hold him. I placed my two hands around him and pull him to the ground. Both of us were on the ground. And I said, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, demons, come out. And by the time I said that, the demon came out of my other family member. And then I, he said to me, what, what is happening? What am I doing on the ground? And I said, repeat your name. And the person t told me his name. And I said, say, Jesus, I love you. And the person said it. And that's how I knew that the demons had left. I am sharing this with everybody. Not to bring any attention to myself because I am flesh and bone. And God says, my glory I will not share. Let me tell you something. As a minister in the Seventh-day Adventist church, God has not called me to have a deliverance ministry. What God has called me to do is to be a minister of the gospel. However, when you read Matthew chapter 10, Jesus said to his disciples, I'm giving you power to go out and preach, heal the sick, cast out demons. So my ministry will not be confined to a deliverance ministry, but my ministry will be a total ministry. I'll be preaching the gospel. I'll be baptizing people. If you are sick, I believe in James when the Bible says, call for the elders of the church. And once I bless that olive oil and anoint a person, I believe because Hebrews 11 verse 1 says, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And Hebrews 11 verse 6 says, but without faith, it is impossible to please God. So I am saying this. I am encouraging you all, all the listeners, everybody, it is time to serve God. Because as it gets closer to the coming of Jesus, demonic spirits will start to manifest themselves more and more and more. When you see people taking up guns and knives, killing people, they are under influence. And the Lord has opened my eyes wide to see that the devil is real just as our God is real but I want to say to you today God has proven again that he is all powerful and that he is large and in charge no demonic power can match our God's power and I must tell you that the young man was repossessed according to Matthew 12 verse 43 to 45 but when I prayed for him he was cleansed and I told him you have to live clean. Friends, I want you to understand, you know, there is only one requirement to invite the devil. All, you, all you've got to do is to live in sin. Yes, you could be a Christian for 20 years, and if you are playing church, you can be in serious trouble. Right? So, I'm encouraging everybody, live pure, live clean, stop the shocking up. If you're living with a man, if you're living with a woman, get married. Stop living in sin. If you are already married, do not cheat on your spouse. Adultery, fornication, stop those things. Those things will lead to hell. For those who are watching pornography, stop. For those who are masturbating, stop. For those who are lying and stealing, stop. Jesus is coming again. This is a message for everybody. Because the Lord would have shown me that the devil is real real I say to you all accept Jesus accept Jesus before it's too late Jesus is coming back very soon let us pray eternal almighty father thank you Lord for this message thank you for having spoken through me I pray that the listeners the hearers will take heed will abide by this message 
In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. May God bless you all. And please, share. Share this message. Share it. Share it with everybody. And very soon I will upload it to my YouTube channel. Share it. Expose the kingdom of darkness. May God bless you all. I can see Lamar, Harry, welcome. I can see Bertina. I can see Shurnet. I can see Paulette Golding. And, and anyone who is on, may you be blessed. May you be blessed. And I can tell you, in that lane, right where I was born and grown, all my family members saw what happened. And so I call all of them for a prayer meeting. I prayed with them. And I left a message. I told them to repent and turn to God. Jesus is coming back very soon. May God bless you and take care.